when you go for multi beam survey the data can be very bad if you do not understand the course over ground or the cog of course it is not center of the gravity remember cog is very important it is course over ground it is quite different than your heading just imagine that you are heading as per your gyro heading into a certain direction but the vessel's literal movement can be into a different direction and that is cog let me draw it for you suppose the vessel is heading this way this is your vessel and it is heading this way but there is a current and wind coming from this direction so it will try to push the vessel to the right side right vessel cannot maintain the straight heading so the vessel's literal movement will be like this how it will happen the vessel will go like this vessel will head this way but it will be moving like this the so vessels course over ground so this one is cog or the course over ground and this is your vessels heading the way the vessel is heading is your gyro compass is showing the heading but this is your course over ground okay and this is very important for multi beam survey let us look at a small video a small screenshot you can see in this screenshot on top there is a heading it's a true heading below that it's a grid heading and then below that is your course over ground there are three things you can see the grid heading is about 1 degree higher then the true heading and the course over ground is never matching with either true heading or the grid heading this is very important please have a look very carefully so when you calibrate your multi beam echo sounder you calibrate the multi beams heading and align it with the vessel's gyro compass right so the multi beam will try to put the beam like this it will be 90 degree with the multi beam heading or the vessel's heading but if the course over ground is like that so the multi beam pings will be coming like this can you see the problem you are going straight maybe you are going straight but this is your cog now i have exaggerated it little bit for you to understand clearly so you are supposed to cover a area a certain area certain corridor but your multi beam is coming like this and when there is a opposing current and wind your vessel is trying to maintain the heading but it is pushing it all outwards so when you try to maneuver your vessels to bring it on to the heading it changes the heading a lot so the vessel will do like this a shape and that is very very bad for multi beam survey your multi beam data will be completely jumbled up so in a better scenario in a model scenario your coj should be perfectly aligned with your heading so try to have the heading and the cog these data try to have them match with each other very closely as closely as possible if there is a little bit of difference then your multi beam data will be completely bad because when we are doing the calibration we are doing the heading calibration we never ever do the cog calibration so next time when you go out at the field look at the current look at the wind have a little bit knowledge about the sea state and then plan your lines accordingly the best way to plan your lines is to look at the prevailing wind and current and then plan your lines with the wind and current in the same direction not in any other direction that is a clever way of planning a line so in the next chapter we'll talk about the difference between the true heading and the grid heading we all know that the difference is called convergency but how do we know when the grid heading is more than true heading or it is less than true heading 
how do I find out? How do I find out what will be my grid heading in relation to the true heading when I am in the southern hemisphere? Coming up shortly. So, if you like this short video, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to share it with your friends. And as always, be curious.